what is the best environment? Is it remote? Is it hybrid? Is it in the office? I think what we need to do as companies is stop fighting. We have those three. We now need to figure out how to make each one of those three actually work for the people who choose each one of those three. The risk for the companies is uh, loss of productivity because there have been multiple studies done that one hour spent for well-being programs uh, triples in terms of productivity. So if it's a huge company or a bigger company, that's a lot of all work days and a lot of profit on the table. Some fun strategies that are implemented by employers are the challenges. For example, we had a water challenge we had to drink a certain amount of um, water per day and actually that helped us building better habits and boost our metabolism and we stayed more hydrated during the day. The top three signs that employees should look out uh, to spot the burnout coming are chronic fatigue. It's something uh, you should notice when you, for example, wake up or tired early in the morning after a good night of sleep, feel emotionally and physically drained. Um, the second one would be increased irritability. Uh, when you get mad at your colleagues for no reason or you get frustrated with some tasks that you've been given. And the third one would be the loss of motivation. When you just don't feel motivated to wake up, go to work and do it and to see some things that you've been done before.